the endocannabinoid system and the concept of endocannabinoid deficiency. In our last video, we discussed the essential role of the endocannabinoid system, or ECS, in our body's ability to maintain homeostasis. Remember, homeostasis is our body systems working together to maintain a balance. We also discussed that endocannabinoids are endogenous cannabinoids, or molecules created by the body, to bind to receptors. Two key endocannabinoids have been identified. They are AEA and 2AG. These endocannabinoids activate different receptors in your body and brain called CB1 and CB2 receptors. The CB1 receptors are found in high levels in the brain and the central nervous system. CB2 receptors are found in numerous immune cells and the peripheral nervous system. Once the endocannabinoids activate these receptors, physiological actions, like feeling pain relief, may take place. There may be cases where an individual does not produce enough endocannabinoids for the ECS to function properly. This is known as endocannabinoid deficiency. Through research, the concept of endocannabinoid deficiency has been linked to migraines, fibromyalgia, irritable bowel syndrome, endometriosis, depression, anxiety, and possibly other treatment-resistant conditions. By supplementing with phytocannabinoids like CBD, we may be able to mimic the action of endocannabinoids to fill in those gaps of deficiency. THC is a phytocannabinoid that has the ability to activate both receptors. CBD is a phytocannabinoid that increases natural levels of endocannabinoids and acts as a modulator to the receptors. Currently, there is no commercial blood test for AEA or 2-AG to test the number of individuals who are deficient. However, if the endocannabinoid function were decreased, it is likely that a lessened pain threshold and effects on digestion, mood, and sleep would follow. For more information on the ECS and how cannabinoid therapy may be beneficial to you, contact a Realm of Caring Care Specialist today.